All right, folks, we're back from where Nancy drew and where we left off. We were talking with Bess and George, and we did not finish our conversation. But that's okay, because you know what? We'll be back. We'll have another conversation with the ladies soon enough. We've got some work to do. We're going to go and head... Actually, let's look at the time first. So it's actually 2 o'clock. We still have time to go to the museum, and uh, that's what we're going to do. But I think... Just for fun, we're going to stop in and talk to the folks on the way here. Although, <laughs> that's not entirely true, because we'll be crisscrossing the metro to do this. We're going to go to the consulate, and then we're going to go to the conquistador, or the art dealer dude. So we'll do that, just to see if they've got anything interesting and new to talk about. Hello there. Hello, Nancy. Do you know much about Maya glyphs? You've got me there. I know Spanish, English, Portuguese, and several indigenous languages, including a Quiche and Nahuatl, but I have yet to learn the language of glyphs. Hmm. Have you heard that the call carving was stolen from the museum? Well, I heard the alarms going off, but it wasn't until Henry called me that I heard the news. You don't sound very concerned about all of this. I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire and I kept going. Whew. I'll need to alert the police so they can ask you some questions. I have diplomatic immunity, so I do not have to answer any questions. But I will, because I have nothing to hide. Okay, why are you being such a jerk about it? Nothing to hide, indeed. Don't you care about the disappearance of such a rare Maya yeah. artifact? That artifact was lost to me as soon as he'd left Mexican soil. Oh, jeez. So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly, he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? Okay, one track mind, all right. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. <laughs> I want to see Buenos dias. Buenos dias. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. Okay, so let's go talk to the dealer dude. Taylor Smith, I think that's what his name is. Oh, Taylor Sinclair. I knew it was an S name. Then we'll go to the museum and uh, see if we can get that number puzzle done. I know I still need to analyze the handprint. We'll see if we can get that done in this episode as well. It's a fiasco just as I feared. Oh, I'm sick, sick, sick about the whole thing. Yes, your fears seem to have been quite visionary. I was in the museum when it happened. Have you spoken to the police? I told them everything I know. I mean, I coughed up my brains right there on the table. So, do you think this is linked to the thefts in Topeka and New Mexico? That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka and on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? Good question. We have to figure out who is connected to this scarlet hand. Do you know Prudence Rutherford personally? Oh, we saw each other at functions now and then. Poor Prudence. She adored that necklace. What's the name of the museum in New Mexico? The Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Ah, they had I have that phone a beautiful number. collection up there, worth a bundle, too. I appraised some pieces for them a few years back. Why do you think the thief is leaving this red handprint? To be a gruesome scoundrel? I'd better get going. See you around. Okay. Want a cookie? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, but I'm trying to cut back. Any news? I'd better get going. But, See but you around. Nancy, take the cookie. Be the cookie. Come on now. Nancy can handle a whole cookie. So let's go and see if we can find this uh, number thing, number puzzle. It's basically the puzzle with these two pieces here. Remember the dots and the lines mean different numerical things, plus the symbols too. So I, I did some offline research into that, and we'll see how well I managed to get that done. Uh, you know what, we'll just stop in here. And, uh, wait a minute, what time is it? Well, she sh should still be here. Yeah, okay. Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I, fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. 
Okay. Sorry, Joanna. I thought I was supposed to go to Henrik with all my glyph questions. The police showed me the note. It said, The magician suffers yellow death. Whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for The curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. <laughs> okay. I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Where do you think he could be? Who knows? Okay. Need something? Apparently a Topeka woman named Prudence Rutherford has recently been visited by a red-handed thief, too. Do you have any idea how I might get in touch with her? Afraid I can't help you there. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Aw, no uh, underwear comments there? Aw. Maybe next time. So, let's just have a look here. Now, where was it that I was supposed to put these? Uh, let's see. Kings, okay, so that's that there. Don't believe it's there. Language, maybe? No, not this way. Uh... Aha! Oh, it actually took the pieces from me. Holy cow! I was like, hey, wait a minute. Where are my pieces? Now, from what I understand, this is gonna go up there. Uh, see, that's 19. That's 1. That's 0. Okay, so let's see. 1 is this one. Uh, what's this one? That's 2. That's a face with like a crown on it. Like this one, I think. 3. That one's got the circle thing on it. And then this one here is 4. So, put that there. Well, we listen to some groovy music in the background. Now, let's see here. I got these two mixed up. I think it might be this one. And then... Oh, wait. That one actually goes there. And that one goes there. It's got four dots on it. So that's eight. So that's three dots plus the bar. That's eight. So nine. Because uh, this one. So that's ten. Which should be two bars. Eleven would be two bars and a dot. Which should be this one. Two bars and two dots. That would be twelve. That's not right. That's 14. So that one goes there. This is 16. This is like... What the heck is this? This is a big number. Uh, okay, what about that? Because that's 15. See, it's got three bars on it. That's 16, 17, 18. Okay, so maybe these two are backwards. Let's try. Okay, so it's the faces that I'm really not that good with, so... Let's try swapping these around. That looks right. There we go. Okay, cool. We did it! What do we get for it, though? That's the question! Oh, that was just one of our tasks. Okay. That looks right. Good, good. Glad to hear it. So we're gonna go to the lab. We will take credit for our completing of the task, and then we'll do some analyses and some periodic table fun. Yay! Apparently there's a note in here that uh, Henrik left for me. So this is where we're going to do the hand thing. And the periodic table, of course, is there. So apparently this is the note here, but let's just check off that we've got that thing done. Yay, we have done all of our assistant curator tasks. Achievement unlocked. Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone for a bit. Your mission in the meantime 
Run through the temple activities to verify that all questions can be answered based on info available elsewhere in the museum. We don't want a little Roscoe Rebellion on our hands when the exhibit opens now, do we? Okay, so I'm going to have to do that quiz stuff, aren't I? Let's see if I've got a voicemail. You have no voicemail. Uh, Press 9 for an outside line. I don't want to make that call. I want to go and play with the Q machine over here and find out what this handprint is made out of. Uh, okay. How do I actually start this thing up? Turn her on! There you go, that'll start. Insert sample. Press start. Ooh, the Spectral X. Archeo Analyzer. Krollmeister. Go! Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. Okay. To match. Oh. How do I do this? Oh, I see. Oh, Nito. I feel like I'm doing real science. Oh, shoot. I screwed up. I gotta do this. Got some science. H -G -S. That's it. So, what is HGS, everybody? All you chemistry folks out there? Any guesses? Mm -hmm. uh, shut that thing off. Ooh. I'm going to take the hand back. There we go. I want that hand. Mercury sulfur, I believe, is the code we're looking for. S stands for sulfur. It sure does. Rotten egg smell. There's According mercury. According to this chart, HG stands for mercury. It sure does. So the handprint was made from mercury and sulfur. Dun dun dun! Why that's important, we don't know, but we gotta go talk to Joanna and say, Hey, I did your... Handiwork here. Hopefully nothing else has been stolen in the meantime. I do like that, like, this is definitely a more modern feel with the kind of rotation here. This certainly makes navigation a lot easier, I find. And this is actually the first game that I recall seeing that. In, the, uh, you know, of the older games, right? Hi there. Need something? I did the chemical analysis you suggested. That red hand was printed with a compound containing mercury and sulfur. Does that mean anything to you? Sure, sure, cinnabar. The Maya would rub it into their most important carvings to add definition to the artist's lines. Where would a person get a supply of cinnabar? We use cinnabar here at the museum the same way the Maya did, to keep things as authentic as possible. Henrik orders those kinds of supplies, but we've been out of stock for quite a while. The last I heard, there was some kind of holdup with the distributor. Okay, that's interesting. I've got work to do. Go to it. <laughs> okay, so we'll go back and we'll look at the supplier list that was left there and see if there's something that does restorations. I do recall there being one of these companies that listed there. Uh, let's see, preservation first. Keep it real, restoration. Okay. Pretty sure this is it here. I gotta write this down. So it's two o oh, two five 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 six seven six six. Pretty sure it remembers our count number. A number. So I don't think I need to write that down. But I'll do it so anyways. All right, time to make a business phone call. You have no voicemail. Press nine. For All right, so I think I only need to do the five five five. There we go. Keep it real, Max. 
Jack speaking. Hi, do you sell a compound of mercury and sulfur? Mercuric sulfide? Oh, we sure do. How much do you need? Uh, first things first. What accounts this for? Uh... Well, the account number is BHOOHP, but I'm not sure if we need any. Well, hello there, Beach Hill. Hey, you're not Sunny June. Whatever happened to that guy? I suppose he caught a ride on a flying saucer, eh? <laughs> what a riot. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, you don't need to reorder, do you? Unless you ate last week's shipment for breakfast, that is. Do you know who placed that order? Well, the initials on the order are JR. JR, that's Joanna. Was the package shipped to the museum? Uh. Oh? Oops, I guess we didn't ship it at all. It looks like the package was picked up here at the warehouse. Okay. So there hasn't been a hold up at the distributor or anything like that? Hold up? Oh, I don't know where you heard that. We've got enough mercuric sulfide in house to sink a ship. Hmm. Hmm. Can you remember anything about the person who picked up the package? Hmm. Uh, I sure can't. Guess I must have been at lunch or something. You're sure it was last week? Oh, that's what it says here. Well, thanks for your help. Sure thing. I hope there wasn't any problem with the stuff, was there? We only used a top-grade mercuric sulfide. Okay. Judging by the impression it left, I have <laughs> to agree that the quality was fine. Well, you sound a little green in the chemicals department, if you don't mind my saying so. I hope you know that mercuric sulfide is highly toxic. Makes Tox. you crazy. Toxic? That's interesting. Well, I have heard that mercury poisoning can cause hallucinations and other symptoms of psychosis. Oh, uh, uh, looks like I've got another call coming in here. You give us a call in about four months or so when you start to run out, okie doke? And don't forget to keep it real. Four months supply? Okay... That's interesting. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? I need to contact Prudence. I need to contact a woman named Prudence Rutherford. I noticed she's on the board of the Topeka Commission for the Arts, and that they've donated money to Beach Hill. Any idea how I might track her down? Well, you're in luck. It so happens that Prudence and I sat on the panel of judges for the Kansas Speak No Evil Mime competition for three years in a row. Back when I lived in Wichita. How's that for a small world? It's amazing. Now give me their her number, please. Dad never told me you lived in Wichita. Indeed I did. I haven't talked to Prudence in about ten years. But let's see if I still have her in this old dinosaur of a Rolodex. Ah, yes, here we go. Got a pen? It's oh, area code 785-555-7279. What's this all about? I think Ms. Rutherford had a run-in with a red-handed thief, much like the one who took the call carving. Ha! <laughs> You're a real pro, Nancy. Say, why don't I call ahead and let Prudence know what's going on? That way I can say hello, and she'll be expecting you. Okay, sure. Now I think you're reading my mind, Mr. Rose. Thanks. Not a problem, dear. So let's see if we can just call right away here. I'm kind of curious now. Give Prudence a call. It's business related, right? Error tone. Okay, so clearly I'm going to have to go back to my room to make this call. Because I got error tones all over the place. Now, where the heck is Henry here? Now, is there a shipping thing here? Oh, you know what? I can look at the manifest list. Where was that thing? I think it's right here, right? Let's see... 
No, this is not what I'm looking for. Uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Positively, no smoking. So that's June's stuff there. So there is this thing here, which I still can't get open. Don't think these work, right? No. Alright, well, let's back up here. And uh, see what's over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need a code for that. Oh, that's... there's Okay, so I need to kind of recall that. I don't have it off the top of my, my mind right now, but we'll come back. We're out of time anyways, and we need to go confront our lovely boss. And we'll do that in the next episode. It's going to be great! Thanks for watching Nancy Drew. I'm your, I'm your Gibbs.